Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. I'm up at the north end of Area 3 this morning at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is a great place to watch the sunset. Come out to the end of this boardwalk here. There's a little bench you can sit on and take in the sunsets. Great little view from down here. This is the north end of Area 3. Nice clear blue sky this morning. Temperatures around 60 degrees. Expecting a high today of 83. Pretty calm out there this morning. A couple pelicans flying overhead. A lot of pelicans out over the water this morning flying back and forth. Let's take a walk down to the beach. Take our morning walk, see what we find. Hopefully we'll run into Roy this morning, see how he's doing. Low tide was early this morning, around five. High tide's gonna be around 11. So the tide's making its way back in right now. Let's take a walk up the beach and see what we find. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see some dolphins this morning. You never know. Boy, Monday, that was a real treat, seeing all those dolphins up at Wiggins Pass. That was an incredible morning. Water looks pretty darn clear this morning. That water temperature is around 74. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Every once in a while, <clears throat> I can see some fish jumping out here. Look how flat it is out there this morning. There's a boat way, way out there on the horizon. I don't know if you can see it. I see Roy up there, up the beach a ways, heading down towards me. We'll stop and say hi to him. How his morning's going. Good morning. 
<clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Got a little congestion here this morning. You can see the sun hasn't come up over the trees yet. We're still in the shade here. It's just starting to peak up. You can see it over there in the corner. Here in area three, the areas, the beach area between area three and four, there's always a lot of stones on the beach. I don't know why that is, why they all collect in this area. There seems to be a lot of them, a lot of rocks. It's kind of hard to walk along the beach close to the water. There's a nice little conch shell down here. One of those baby conchs. That's a nice one there. It's got some neat stripes on it. That's a nice little baby fighting conch right there. There's what's left of one. Worm tip. What's left of the tip of a worm shell? A little wormy tip. There's a big clam shell down here. find some pretty big old clam shells. They make great little bowls, ashtrays, whatever. There's a smaller one over here, smaller clam shell. There goes some pelicans passing by. Fun watching those pelicans fly. Especially when they're diving into the water catching fish. There goes another one just taking off. <clears throat> Here comes our buddy Roy. What's up, Daddy-O? I'm doing, <clears throat> I'm doing. Are you doing? I'm doing, yeah. All I'm right. Doing great. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going this morning? Wonderful. Absolutely yeah. wonderful. Anybody up there fishing? Yeah, quite a bunch. I can imagine. Yeah. It's beautiful out here today. Oh, isn't it though? Man. They Sun. catching anything? That didn't seem that way. Were the dolphins up there pestering? Yeah, there was not, not as many. There was just one couple mother with a little baby. Uh, surfacing. Was she? Did she? Is she still up there, or do you think she's heading? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. She was pretty much right in the pass there. Uh, the fishing must be good up there in the morning for them. Yeah. <laughs> they got. I think there's mackerel. Is what they're getting up there. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I don't know why the mackerels are blessed, but there seem yeah. to be holy mackerel. Yeah. Isn't that something? <laughs> oh gosh! Well, that was fun the other day watching them, wasn't it? Oh that man, was, was that, that was a scene? The there was a group of them. Must have been five at one time. We saw. 
And then you had a little party afterwards, huh? Oh, Out yeah. on the beach. Yeah, that was delightful with Barbara. Yeah. Last day for her. I so you to see her go. Yep. She's still here. I don't know when she's actually leaving. Did she say? Did she give you the day when she's leaving? No, but I think it's the last time on the beach. So. Yeah. What a shame. Got to miss her. That's for sure. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I got a little congestion here this morning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> I don't know what that's from. Take your vitamin C. There you go. My <laughs> billion megagrams. Oh, <clears throat> losing my voice. I'm gonna walk up there. I'll catch up with you back good, at the good. back at the spot. Back at the ranch. At the spot there. Okay. Okay. Right. All right, Roy. Good, good seeing, seeing you. you man. <clears throat> How far down do you go? Oh, not too far. About by the <clears throat> old dead tree there. <clears throat> the old dead tree. Yeah. That one. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Right. I'll see you in a little bit. Think about some profound statements for today. Yeah, I got a All right. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Awesome. Roy's got a thought for the day for us. We'll share that later towards the end of our walk. But we'll just slowly make our way up the beach here, see what we find. <clears throat> Excuse me. We started a little further south this morning. Started at the north end of Area 3 instead of the north end of Area 4. Something different. There's a lot of shells piled up here in the water. Right on the water line. A nice little piece of finger coral. That's a fat piece. That's a fat finger right there. That's finger coral. Look at all these shells. This is all those little shells that you really need to sift through to find something nice, interesting. I just saw a neat shell and the waves came and Washed it right out from my my hands. Just as I was going to pick it up. And that's what happens. You know, these shells they just come and go with the waves. All kinds of neat little things you find though down here. Every morning is different. Usually, the earlier you get out to the beach, the better. You just want to beat the early people out here. Those die-hard shell collectors. Low tide obviously is the best. So you got to check the, the tide charts. Check the tide chart for Wiggins Pass. And I'll tell you when the low tide's going to be happening. And then time your visit to that if you want to find some nice shells. morning. It's always friendly people out here at the beach. Always, everybody usually has a smile on their face out here. Can't blame them. This is everybody's happy place. The water looks great this morning. Can't wait for that sun to come up. Warm up the beach here. Right now it's down in the low 60s. 
Gonna be hot up in the 80s today, up around 83. Boy, it was warm yesterday. There's another little wormy tip down here. A little jewel box, some kitten's paws. Where did I, I thought I just saw a little kitten's paw down here somewhere. There's a worm tip and a little jewel box shell. I thought I saw a kitten's paw. It slipped away from me. Hmm, what is that? That's a little different looking. What kind of shell is that? That's an interesting looking little shell. Some kind of oyster shell. That's a little bigger than a kitten's paw. So many little shells down here, it's just amazing. Just amazing. All the little things down here. Little tiny jewel box shell. Look at this line of shells, just all along the beach here. See it, right along the shoreline? Of course, it's gonna get covered up as soon as the tide comes in here. Little sunlight starting to rake the beach up here. We got a family out here. I never saw a stroller out on the beach before. That's kind of cute. Ah, there's some sunlight. Now you can see down into down into the water. See how clear it is. And Roy coming back up the beach already. Boy, no clouds in sight this morning. Still a little smoke out on the horizon out there. There's part of a moon shell, a shark eye or moon shell. That's the eye right there. Beautiful shells. Here you can see the inside of it, the shark eye. Just a part of one. That's a nice eye. Goodness, there is a lot of shells. There's a pile of them over here too, up on the beach. Part of an old conch. You got a winner? No winner, winner chicken dinner. <laughs> Just bits and pieces. Lots of broken shells down here. The top of a conch. Boy. You just never know what you're gonna find though in these piles like this. There's a kitten's paw.
These are the piles that you definitely want to take a little time and dig, you know, spend some time digging, sifting. You just never know what you're going to find. Little slipper shell, they're everywhere, these slippers. A little slipper. Flip it over. Looks like a little shoe. The slipper shell. Part of an olive shell. Big slipper shell there. It's a pretty good size little slipper shell. Goodness. I could spend the rest of my life out here. Let's walk up the beach. Keep on moving along. So much area to cover here. I mean, there's all these little piles up on the shore. It'll be underwater at high tide. And we got a great, a great line of shells right along the shore this morning. A lot of little ones. I like the little shells just as much as the big ones. You tend to find more interesting little shells because they're harder to spot. I see Roy's up there getting a hug. Lucky him. Getting a morning hug. God bless him. He lives for those hugs. I don't know what it's, if there's anything out here in the water this morning. A lot of times we'll come out here and find some sand dollars and sea stars. Some other interesting little things. Usually all alive when we come out here. Usually the things we find out in the water are living. There's shells with living animals inside them. I'm not seeing anything right offhand here this morning. never know what you're gonna find out here like I always say you know every day is different sometimes we can, we'll find hundreds of sea stars out here same with sand dollars sometimes you'll just see hundreds and hundreds of sand dollars out here the sand dollars though they're usually buried here's a Looks like maybe a piece of a sand dollar down here. Yeah, there's, this is just an edge of a sand dollar. Well, sometimes if you dig down in the sand, you'll scoop up a, a sand dollar. You just never know. There's some pretty big ones out here too at times. I'm not seeing anything running around here. Any little crabs or anything this morning. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
I'm gonna take a picture of that, bear with me. I'm gonna lose the feed for a second, just hang tight. Bear with me. One minute, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Gosh, it is really calm out here, isn't it? Love to have a dolphin come swimming by me out here. That would be so neat. It's amazing how shallow of, a, of water they can swim in. I mean, Roy and I, we've seen them come right up onto the beach. Just amazing. Monday morning was so funny. We are up there, I don't know how long we spent up at the Wiggins Pass, Roy and I watching the dolphins. Must have been close to a half hour, if not more. But there was the mama and the dad and their baby and a couple other, do a couple other dolphins swimming around up there. And all of a sudden, right in front of us, the little baby just like popped its head out of the water and looked at us and then just went down. It was the cutest little thing. It was just checking us out. That was so cool. They're, I guess, as curious about us as we are of them. What a gorgeous morning. Look at that. You can see how shallow it is here. This is where you're gonna find shark's teeth, right out here, just out in the shallow water, just off, offshore. I just can never spot them. Our friends find them all the time out here. listening to those waves, so relaxing. Well, there's a big pile of shells up on the beach. A big pile of little shells. <laughs> Folks out there doing some shelling. Seeing a lot of little worm tips out here this morning. Boy, this is like ideal, ideal conditions for a dolphin to come by here to, spot, to sight one. Whether they'll come by, that's another story, but that water is so flat. This is when they come up close to shore, usually chasing the fish. Got some nice sunlight on the water. This is normally where I would be starting my beach walk, right here in area four. There's our osprey nest up on top of the tree right there. Roy's over in there, setting up his chair over by Audrey's bench under the pine trees. Sounds like, sounds like one of the helicopters they use for spraying for mosquitoes.
check back in here with Roy. He said he's got a thought for the day for us. See what he's got in mind, on his mind. Maybe get him to break out the old harmonica for a song or two. Ooh, here's what's left of a nice big black scallop shell. Not much left of it. More of a gray than a black. That was a deep one, very deep shell. There's a little cockle shell down here, a couple little cockles them up quick. Two little cockle shells. You can find some nice big cockles here on the beach. You can find cockles here the size of your hand. morning. Good morning. Come on, dolphins. I'd love to see a dolphin come by this morning. And the colors are great. Great light out here in the water. Absolutely beautiful morning. Look at that clear blue sky all around. Every direction you look, clear blue sky. The water looks great out here. Tide's definitely on its way in here. There's a little piece of worm rock. That's always pretty cool to look at. Look at it up close. See all the little tubes in there, the worm rock. Everybody should have a piece of that in their collection. Here's another little, here's a little kitten's paw. First one I showed you was kind of white. This one has a, a lot of sand on it. Kind of see the colors of it in there. Rinse it off. The little kitten's paw. There's a nice little moon shell, maybe. Yeah, there's a nice one. Get it in the sunlight, the shark eye. Was just laying on the beach looking up at me. It's a nice little shark eye. The moon shell is what they're also called, the shark eye, moon shell. So 
So far, the only thing I picked up this morning was that shark eye and this one little fighting conch. I love the little fighting conch shells. The little baby shells. Sandpiper walking ahead of me here. It's beautiful here. The water just feels so nice. Temperatures in the Low 70s, the water right now. Feels great. Part of a whelk shell, the top of a lightning whelk. Every once in a while I find some really nice sized lightning whelks out here. Oh, there's another shark eye. Looks like it has a hole in the side. Piece of a shark eye. That's a good size one. It's pretty worn out there. Big eye there. All kinds of beautiful little shells on the beach, the little scallops. What is this? Oh, part of another piece of a whelk, another piece of a whelk shell. That's really worn down. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a whelk here on the beach. Love this park. Got a mile of beach here. No homes or condos. Nobody up on their balconies, you know, spying on you with their telescopes and binoculars. This is just all unspoiled natural beach here at El Norwegians. Park officially opens at 8 a.m., closes at sunset, but they've been opening the gates a little earlier during the season. They've been opening the gates at 7.30. There's an olive shell, an olive shell over here, part of a lightning whelk. There's 
piece of a lightning whelk right there. Let me get out into the sunlight, see if I find anything else here. Couple little old whelks, little worn out whelk shells. Big olive shell. I'll show them to you here in a second. Just want to get out in the sunlight. sunlight on them there you go there's a nice big olive shell up in the top that's a nice olive shell a couple little whelks another olive put this one whelk over see the colors in it that's a nice olive shell up there two little lightning whelks two olives see something here this olive this is a nice olive shell here it's got the tip on it a lot of times the tips are missing that's a nice one I rinse the sand off it that's a nice little olive shell there That's a good one. Hey Justine, how are you doing? Doing well. Good shells today. Did you find some good ones? Found some beauties. Oh, let's I found see what one I've never found before. I'm not sure what it's called, but I found this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Who knows what that is? Who watching? That is, where'd you find that? It's right down at one when I first started. That is incredible. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? And I found a really nice um, apple murex. Oh, nice, a nice murex. Very nice. This yeah, is. Yeah, it's been a good shell day. Normally I go home empty handed because I try not to take things that I already have. That is beautiful. Have. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I got to take a picture of that. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Oh. Hold that in your hand so this we can like let's see like let's see if we can get it like that. That that is incredible. Hang on, folks. I'm gonna take a quick photo. That is a very very interesting shell. Congratulations yeah, on that. I can't wait to find out what that is. <laughs> that was neat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, have a great morning. Boy, that was an incredible shell. I have no idea what it was. Nice little cockle shell here. That was a beautiful shell. Looking forward to finding out what that was. There's an old Murex shell. We just showed you an apple Murex. There's an old lace Murex. This is an old worn out lace Murex shell. It's funny, no matter how many people walk up, on, up and down this beach picking up shells, you're always going to find something. It's just constantly changing with the waves coming in and out. Look at all the little birds, sandpipers, a couple of seagulls here in front of me. forward to hearing what Roy has to say. He promised, the, he said he had a thought for the day for us. Looking forward to getting down, back down to area four where he sits and hearing that thought for the day. Just gonna walk up a little further here. 
see what we come across. Beautiful scallop shell. Gorgeous. These scallops are so neat looking. You can always find these on the beach, the scallops. All different sizes and colors. Well, we had a little disconnect there. I hate when that happens. I was just showing you that nice little scallop. Beautiful little scallop. Great looking shells, the scallops. And then I just picked up another little baby conch shell. A little baby fighting conch, Florida fighting conch on the left. why we have problems with our signal on days like this gorgeous clear blue sky blue sky everywhere all around as far as the eye can see this morning just blue sky Nice clear water this morning. I'm not sensing any red tide. That's a good thing. sure where those dolphins are they've been hanging around up in the pass i guess lately the fishing's been really good up there they've been up there annoying the fishermen chasing all the fish away there's a nice little olive shell little baby olive shell wash the sand off of that The olives, they always seem to be full of little shells when you pick them up. See, that one's got a whole bunch of little shells stuffed in it. Dropping our signal again, darn it. There's a, another little moon shell, just a piece of a moon shell. The shark eye, let me get it out in the sunlight. It's got a nice looking eye on that one. Look at that, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. The shark eye. Seems like every time I bend over, we lose the signal. That's weird. Don't get discouraged. When the signal drops out, we'll get reconnected here. Just bear with me, just hang in there. Sometimes you just have to refresh your browser. Another scallop. I'm just going to go take a peek around the corner here and head back down the beach.
Now this is area five, the north end of Adel Norwegian's Pass State Park. This is where all the fishermen come. This is the only place you're allowed to fish in the park. Up at the north end. Swimming only at the south end. No swimming at the north end. Sprint is really having some problems this morning. Not very reliable this morning with their connection. It's gorgeous out here. That water is beautiful up there in the pass. I'm gonna take a photo, stand, stand by here. Hang on a sec. I'm sorry, somebody was texting me there. I apologize for the interruption. That was work-related. Look at the color of that water. Is that not gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Nice little breeze up here. There's quite a few fishermen. What is what it's all about right here? Look at that. Look at those beautiful colors. This is what living in Southwest Florida is all about. Look at that water, nice and clear. Man, I'm gonna try and zoom in here. You can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach here this morning, no problem. See all the condos up there. What a nice clear morning. A little bit of smoke in the air from the brush fires, but still nice and clear. Barefoot beach over there. Quite a walk down to the end of that beach over there. It's about a half mile trek to get to the end of the beach from the parking lot there, Barefoot Beach. Beautiful beach though. Lots of great shelling over there too.
coming in, so you get those beautiful blue greens. Just taking a picture here. You're just tuning in here. This is Wiggins Pass of the North Naples. Beautiful Wednesday morning. This is the very north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Quite a few fishermen out here this morning. He's up to. He said he had a thought for the day for us. A thought for our hump day, our Wednesday here. Still hoping to see some dolphins out here. Monday we saw quite a few of them. Roy and I had a good time watching the dolphins Monday morning. You gotta check that video out video from my Monday morning beach walk. Definitely watch the one on YouTube. It's a little better quality. The 
video quality on these live feeds, it's all dependent on how strong the connection is. And out here there's no Wi-Fi, so I'm at the mercy of Sprint. And the signal comes and goes out here. If it gets blurry, that's because it's a, it's a weak signal, it's not the camera. Every once in a while it's the camera, but more, more often than not it's the internet connection or the cellular connection. Catching anything out there? No, sir. No. Yeah. Not getting anything this morning. Sure is beautiful though. Look back up towards Wiggins Pass. Isn't that water gorgeous? The colors are just phenomenal this morning. Hey, hit that share button. Fun to come up here and watch the fishermen put your beach chair up here your umbrella sit and watch the fishermen watch the boats heading in and out of the pass there's a boat heading out right now earlier one of our friends that we ran into on the beach Justine she found this awesome shell I have no idea what it was some kind of cone or look like a big tulip shell it was incredible I took a couple pictures of it I hope they turned out hopefully somebody will know what it is I'll post those later it was just an amazing looking shell it's quite the find it's too bad our friend Barbara isn't around to tell us what it was These are some of the trees that got knocked over by Hurricane Irma back in September, early September. She just came along here and destroyed the beach, but it's slowly coming back. Paradise. This is our paradise, that's for sure. Pelicans flying by out there. Any luck? Yeah, just small, small ones. Yeah. How you been doing? Good, good. Beautiful today, yeah, isn't it? Gorgeous. The colors are just out unbelievable. Him and his wife are always out here looking for shark's teeth. So he said he found a couple small ones this morning. If you're into collecting shark's teeth, here at Del Nor Wiggins, you'll find them just offshore usually in the water. Right along the water line is where they gather, they collect there. 
It's not the best place for shark tooth hunting. A little further up north, there's sharks tooth Venice, I heard, as sharks tooth all over the beach, Venice Beach. But you can find them here at Del Norwegans, and you can find some pretty nice sized ones every once in a while, too. You can find some nice shells here. Again, it's not a top beach, a number one beach for shelling in Southwest Florida. Sanibel's really nice, Marco's nice, but you can find some really great shells here at Del Norwegans. I found some, I have found some real beauties over the years. And in May, our sea turtles start coming ashore and nesting. And that's always fun to see the new nests. And that starts in May, the sea turtle nesting season. Have yet to see a live hatching. That is just a major stroke of luck to come across a nest that's hatching. Normally they hatch through the middle of the night. Same with the nesting. They'll come ashore throughout the night in the dark. But every once in a while you'll catch a sea turtle on the beach in the early, early, early morning hours. And then just before sunset, you might happen to see a nest hatching if you're lucky. There's some great videos on the internet of those little nests hatching, little sea turtles hatching. It's just amazing how many of them come out of that little hole. Look at all the little birds running around here. Little sandpipers. <laughs> this is a picture perfect morning this morning, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. As we look north here, back up to where we came from there, Wiggins Pass, look at that. Look at those colors, the greens and the blues, just gorgeous. The only thing that spoils it is that helicopter in the background. They must be spraying for mosquitoes. That's one of the things they do down here. That's one thing we got to put up with is those pesky mosquitoes down here. Stand by. I'm going to take a quick photo. I'll be right back. I got to go go up here and check out these birds again real quick. They are just running around like crazy. All these little sandpipers. or something. They keep running up the beach here. See them all along the beach. All up there by those folks. Let's head back down the beach. Water's beautiful here. Nice and clear this morning.
This morning, the only really nice shell that I picked up was this shark eye, this moon shell. That's the only one that I wanted to add to my collection. You can see the eye right there. That's why they call it a shark eye. Also called a moon shell. Beautiful shells, the moon shells. Some of them have a beautiful blue eye. They call that a Paul Newman. Somebody's got a tent set up here, no camping. Not allowed to camp here at this state park. But you can set up a tent to shade yourself. It's so calm out this morning. Oh, way off in the distance, I can see a parasail. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's kind of hard here. I see a parasail way out there. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see the screen here in the sunlight. There's a parasailer out there. Way out in the distance. I cannot see it in the viewfinder here. Oh, there it is, right in the center. See the parasailer? He's way, way out there. That's actually coming off of Vanderbilt Beach. That's fun to do, take a parasail ride. Get back into the Y mode here, sorry. Absolutely gorgeous out here. You can see there's no nothing along this beach, no homes or condos. This is a state park. All protected. That's what makes it so nice. Look back up the beach, back up towards Wiggins Pass. Gorgeous blue sky today. Just a few little waves breaking on the shore here. Little snowy egret here in front of us.
getting late. Let's go see what Roy has to say real quick. And then we'll call it a morning. Where is our friend Roy? I think he's up by Audrey's bench up here. Oh yeah. There he is up and under the trees here. There's our osprey nest up there. Right up in the top of the tree there. You can see it. Right up there. I don't see any ospreys peeking out. I know there's one in there. I heard her. Pretty sure it's the female. I heard her chirping in there, squawking. I know she's up there. Hopefully we're gonna see some little baby ospreys, little chicks. That'd be fun. This is up in the north end of area four, the north end of parking lot four. Just above where Roy sits. Beautiful out here. Just gorgeous. What's up, doing, Roy? Man? How you doing today? What's cooking today? Oh, just checking out how beautiful it is out here this morning. Right, Karen, she brought me. Oh, here, let me share with you. You brought it. Oh, and are they delicious? Homemade. Well, normally, I take them to his house. Oh. Homemade chocolate chips. I figured he'd be down here. Yeah, <laughs> you figured oh. that. <laughs> she, look, look yeah, at the, look look at the size of that bag. Here. Oh, look at the size of that bag of cookies, that, Roy. That means you're entitled to one. Oh, you get one. Well, it was my lucky it's morning. Maybe uh, one more if, if you act. <laughs> here, dig Boy, in, those man. look awesome. Aren't they something? I just had mm. one. They're out of this world. Thank Homemade, you. Homemade, and they got nuts in them, too. Mm. Aren't those mm. something? They're a little crunchy. Huh. No, they're good. Now you're 20,000 people have seen them. <laughs> you're going to get I'm orders. I'm already as famous as I need to be. You're going to get orders from around the world. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go. So you enjoy Don't. your cookies. Mm. Don't go, honey. Yeah, and, I gotta go. And, and I have tell stuff to thank you. I'll bet you if she eats apples and oranges, and that's it, and a cheese. little bit of cheese, forget all that other glop. I'm gonna call her and, and when I'm just walking. Completely get rid of that stuff, and believe me, let it go for a few days and see how it works. Her tummy is gonna be completely fine. The cookie's almost gone. Well, <laughs> and the thing about the cookie is, even though it's a cookie, it's all organic. Oh, that's the chocolate, awesome. The butter, the sugar, the flour. The mm. Organic sugar and organic that's, butter. There, it's that's, delicious. That's Thank you. <laughs> thanks no for sharing. There's no calories in that, right? <laughs> hey, thanks, Karen. Okay, I love you, honey. Hi to George. Mm. <laughs> this is a great gal, I'll tell you. Hey, what time is it, boss? <laughs> what time is it there, Roy? What time? Time for a chocolate chip uh, What time cookie. is it? You mean in Siberia or no, I mean where are we now. talking what, about? I mean now. Central what? Standard or Daylight? Oh, what I don't time know. is it right now? I don't now? know what all daylight. On your watch. Well, uh, it's 
9.30 already. On Wednesday on March 28th, that's what my my <laughs> watch says. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's Well, we made it to, to another morning. <laughs> hey, hopefully, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and it's a mm. glorious morning. <laughs> Getting some sun there streaking through. Oh, oh boy. Gotta come around the other guy. side. Look so. Those chocolate chippers, oh man. Those are good. Didn't like They're glorious? crunchy, but they are good. Oh boy. Nothing wrong with the crunchy cookie. I got a new book from the library. Just started again. It's kind of interesting about a, a girl, a Chinese girl, and all the various developments mm. and problems. So that should be interesting. Well, you said you had a thought for us for today. Well, it's an interesting thought. Uh, very interesting. I'll tell what brought it on, and I've got to do more studying on it because I'm interested in construction work. I've got a friend, well, Jay Jones, you know him. He lives out in Seattle, my old free ski buddy. And um, he's about the only guy that's my age around anymore. Uh. <laughs> we used to ski together, but he's in Seattle and um, he knew about a big high rise uh, building. I think it was 27 stories high. I uh -huh. mean, it was a fantastic big high rise and it was a, uh, people lived there. It was apartment units and um, something was wrong with the construction they had to tear the whole thing down really i mean at cost i'm i'm trying to get down to the cost of the well the only figure i remember he sent me a whole page on it is that to to repair the damage was going to be 80 million dollars wow just to repair the damage so they didn't have it repaired they pulled the whole building down sure. well what it was and it's an interesting thing the cables Apparently they had some tension cables that uh, help hold the building up and the concrete and all that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And the cables corroded. Really? Yeah, they said they were improperly painted and improperly grouted. Huh. So of course they blamed the, the painting contractor. But here's my thought on this whole thing. Uh -huh. I don't care if they were properly painted or properly grouted. That doesn't last forever. Painting always cracks off and grout of grout gets gets hard and cracks off, even if it's properly done. So after 20 years, they'd still get the corrosion. And why the devil didn't they use stainless steel cables? Sure, it costs a few more bucks, but they should have been stainless steel. So what I'm getting at is, my thought is about designers the architects, people that design pro projects, mm -hmm. that's a high calling. Yes, it is. I, I, I put the blame on this thing back to the architects that designed the building because the builder builds, builds what the architect right. uh, calls for. And not only the architect, but the owner. He should have worked with the architect and they should have discussed this whole thing. And the architect says, well, we should have used, should use stainless. It'll cost you an extra $50,000 or $100,000, but it's going to be worth it because, and this is what the architect should know. So what I'm getting at is paying tribute to the intellect of the people that design projects. Yep. yep. And, and you take all this for granted. Oh yeah, I got an architect. Yeah, yeah, he drew up these rooms. Well, it isn't that. There's a, so much more to it, which which is exemplified by this huge high wires. I don't know how many hundreds of millions of dollars went down the drain. Right. Because to me, uh, uh, an architectural uh, failure. Faux pas. Faux pas. <laughs> yeah. You know, see well, what I mean? And, uh, and I mean, faux pas. We laughed about faux pas, but that was a that was huge, a big. One. I don't know how many hundred million faux pas. <laughs> that was I mean, something. Yes, yeah. sir. So, I, and even if they'd done it right, for crumb's sake, in 20 years, those, those cables could be rusting. Exactly. So, to me... Um, that makes you wonder, you know, to what, give how, it, many, how many bad you know, well, cables yeah, are out yeah, there. Yeah, an inspection of all that. So, to me, the thought is to give honor and tribute to the people who design all this machinery that make our life comfortable. Okay. And it isn't only... Um, buildings i mean designing automobiles that are safe and comfortable and and hang together and don't fall apart you know all the machinery you we use the air conditioning that makes our house comfortable so it isn't only the the trades that do this work but the people that the engineers and the scientists that have figured these things out over the years you're right 
It's, it's a big, big thing, and we don't think about it. We yeah. just take it all for granted. Exactly. We just sit in our house and yeah. enjoy. But just think of the years of, of research and, and experiment and, and development to, to make all this equipment that makes our life so safe and comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's Good an, point. It's a big, big field, and it's interesting to, to contemplate. This goes back to how we always say, just don't, you can't take anything for granted. <laughs> Nothing. Can't take anything. You're right. right. And of course, unfortunately, a lot of this equipment and machinery is necessary for our defense. And that's an unfortunate situation, but that's how life goes. Since the beginning yeah. of time, people have been, there's been aggression between peoples. And now we've got some pretty high class machinery to assist in, uh, in that. <laughs> hey, look who's well, that's here. That's a good one. <laughs> Right. Hey, Ron, how are you doing, man? Morning, morning, morning. Did you bring your pizza? <laughs> oh, I forgot the pizza. Oh, no, you didn't bring darn. us the pizza. No pizza. We just had some cookies, some hey, great cookies, yeah. yeah. Hey, here, cookies are cookie. good. Karen brought some Boy, great cookies good. for Karen us. Karen brought these for me. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Them chocolate chip you're talking about? Yeah. They're, they're pretty high-class cookies. Yeah, these are all have you got, have you got organic. Bucks? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. 20 bucks. Hey guys, blue sky. isn't blue that sky. beautiful? I'll blue see y'all later. Roy, you have a great day. Rob, Enjoy those you, cookies, Ron. <laughs> hey, one to a customer. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. And are they good? Homemade, huh? yeah. Well, that was yeah. interesting, Roy, talking about architects and engineers. Pelican flying by there. Family out walking the beach. Well, I'm gonna make my way down to where we began our walk this morning, down in area three. Started a little further south this morning. Cloud-free skies this morning, everywhere you look, all around. Everywhere you look, blue sky. Water is gorgeous. Beautiful colors here this morning. Look how clear it is out here. Look at that. You see the reflections on the bottom. Beautiful. Turn around, look back up the beach here. You can see a little smoke in the air here. You can see this little bit of smoke still. We have some brush fires burning out in eastern Collier County. Praying that they get those under control. Keep all those people, all those first responders in your prayers and thoughts and the people whose homes might be endangered out there in eastern Collier by these fires. Just absolutely beautiful out here today. Truly, truly paradise. Bear with me for one quick minute. I'm gonna snap off a photo. And the signal's gonna disappear for a second. Right, sorry about that. We're gonna keep moving down the beach here. Beautiful Friday morning. Friday morning, what did I say? Wednesday morning. Shame on me. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, hump day. I'm already thinking about Friday. All the things I have to get done this week. There's something pretty neat. Somebody made a big octopus here on the beach. That's pretty funny. Looks like, at least it looks like an octopus. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that something? Wow. Yeah, take a picture of that. Hang tight. That's pretty cool, huh?
I'm going to be signing off here. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here at Southwest Florida Television on Facebook. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. Have a great day. Have a great Wednesday. I hope this little beach walk this morning helped you get over hump day. Get over the hump. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.